Hi everyone, this is Michelle Stelling from the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and this is Q&A Tuesday and I have a really good question from Barbara from California and I'll get to that in a minute but I did want to let you know that we still do have our three pack bundle available um, it's our back to school special for I believe that it's, ha it's half price so I believe it's right around forty nine dollars and that's usually uh, over a hundred dollar value so if you still want to get that um, you just put in school and be sure to go to our site and find um, where you can connect up and get that um, special um, however if you are watching this a lot later than like um, August the, the end of August and you're probably gonna miss that boat so if you can punch in the word school and it gives you half price then you've made the boat or you have made the deadline if not then sorry about that we'll probably have another special right around um, Thanksgiving time so anyway Barbara from California ask how do I make my own brushes so let's go ahead and quickly go through that um, right now so I'm just gonna go with file new blank file you know I always start out with a, a 12 by 12 300 resolution just because you don't have to you could if you know your brush is gonna be smaller you could um, go a smaller size but I'm just gonna go with 12 by 12 300 resolution and I normally do my brushes in a black color now once you um, you can always change the brush color later but I just normally do it maybe in a black or, or a strong color so I've got a white background right now and I made a brush prior to this and this is the brush I made it comes right in the bottom of the defaults whenever you save your brushes they'll automatically go at the bottom of your default so down here it just says sample brush 2 this is a brush I just made since I have red up that's the color that it's going to make if I wanted to go to like the green color I can go in there and go like this so I created that on um, that layer so let's just select all and delete and let's start from scratch and create our own brush so normally you've got your default brushes set um, you have all different kinds of brushes but if you wanted to create your own brush maybe you just wanted to take like a um, I don't know a, a hard size 9 brush and then again I'm just gonna bring my black to the front I'm gonna deselect this I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to create some funky brush. Okay, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to, let's see here, I'm going to just kind of go like this. This is going to be a really crazy brush. Okay, so there's something, a little pattern. Doesn't look like much, but that I can create my own brush out of, believe it or not. So what I could do, oh, I should have put that on a new layer. But if I didn't put on a new layer, this is what's going to happen. You're not going to be able to define that brush. You're going to come over to edit and define brush is not going to be there. So it's kind of good that I just messed up because that might have happened to you. So I'm just going to select that and delete it and then go over and put a create a new brush, create a new layer. I'm having a hard time today. Sorry about that. Um, I could go back and re-record it but I don't have the time to do that so anyway it's good for me to make mistakes so you can um, find them out too whenever you're making the mistakes so I made a new layer and I'm gonna go over and I'm just gonna get my brush and uh, let's just kind of do a little squiggly here this will be our little brush okay you might take your time on your brush so now that I've got a new layer, I'm going to hold down my control key or the command key on the um, Apple and just click inside of your layer um, thumbnail area. That's going to select that. That will then allow you to go ahead and define that brush from the selection. Okay, so I'm going to define this. I'm just going to call it Michelle's brush and then click on OK. Now if I want to, I can go ahead and deselect. I could throw that layer away if I want to so I could just right click and delete layer you still have that brush and actually it automatically went to that brush but let's just say it didn't for you so I'm gonna go in here and you see at the very bottom now at the bottom of all your defaults it's usually hidden at the bottom it says Michelle brush okay now it doesn't have to be that black color I can change it to like maybe this purple color and then I can click and there's my brush. Okay, I could click and drag, and there's my brush. If I wanted to go onto the right black bracket, I can make my brush bigger and I can start fancying up my page. Okay, of course, this is a pretty hideous brush, but you know what's really cool is if you want to, you can make text out of, out of brushes. 
brushes out of text. So let's go ahead and right click on this and delete that layer. I'm going to make a new layer and I'm just going to come over here with my text and I'm just going to put Stelling Photography. And maybe you have a logo or something, you know. Um, I'm not going to create a logo here, but I am going to make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to pull in the letting, and maybe I change the word Stelling to like a frilly, frilly font. Just the word Stelling, please. Okay. And let's pull in my frilly fonts. The quickest frilly font I see is not that one. So let's go to, oh goodness, why did I have to get, be so picky about picking a frilly font? I'm going to pick, ugh, that's ugly, but let's just pick that one. Okay, so here's my beautiful um, logo, let's say. So now what I want to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Simplify Layer. I'm going to hold down my control key and then select that thumbnail. Go over to Edit, Define Brush from Selection. I'm just going to call this Stelling Photography. This is kind of cool for those of you who are phot uh, photographers. Then I can go in, let's just go in and open up a photo. And then I can go in there and, and stamp my mark on it, kind of like a watermark. So I'm going to go over here, get a new layer, and then take my brush. Go down and see, hopefully, Stelling Photography. We've got it right there. I'm going to click one time. And then I can go in and open up all of my photos and put Stelling Photography on there. It doesn't have to be that color, of course. I can go in and do it a white color or whatever color I want it to be. Okay. I can take down the opacity to change it that way as well. I hope you enjoyed this little short session. It turned out to be a little bit longer than five minutes. Um, and also check out our... Um, naods.com site because we always have new and improved videos out there. Um, let me think if there's anything else. That is it pretty much. If you want to join us on Facebook, if you have not joined us on Facebook, go to facebook.com slash learn photo editing and click the like button. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.